just you're going to go figure this out and start an invest in one. So no, it was the book. My dad was pretty savvy, but like in the military and still traveling at the time. Okay. So he was living, um, well, actually by then, I think he was living in Georgia with me again, but it wasn't like him telling me do invest in these funds and do this. It was more so just like set it up. You know, the book told, he said, literally read this. And then that was it. My dad is a man of very few words. So, um, <laughs> I read the book and then I literally went to my bank and was like, I've had an account here since I was five. I just read about this Roth IRA thing so I can have tax free dollars in the future. Like, can you help me set it up? And the lady did. And she really thought I was crazy. She was just like, how old are you? And why are you trying to do this? So I told her about the book. But yeah, a lot of people were sort of scratching their head. And I was like, look, I'm very clear on what I don't want to do, which is work forever. And I don't know what more I can do other than start early and take advantage of time. And to be honest, like I didn't even have a lot of money. I used my first paycheck. It was about $252. And then I used my other paychecks for gas and, you know, going out with friends that summer But afterwards, I did make an effort to make contributions. So I would save my change all year. And then my mom and I would sit and roll the coins. Literally, like when I say save my change, this is before Digit. This is before Acorns. I was putting change in like a, a jar. And then in December, we would roll the coins and then we would take them to deposit them to the Roth. Or I would save my babysitting money. Or, you know, when I was in college and I was a a work study student, I would try to save 25 bucks a month, if that. But I I didn't pressure myself to be on any type of automatic contributions. I just said, look, you know that you make money throughout the year. How much of it can you save for retirement? And that was my initial goal. And then it wasn't until I got into my career as a diplomat and I had a steady paycheck that I committed to monthly contributions and to maxing it out. So there's, you know, I always try to tell people like, you don't have to start with a million dollars to be able to invest. You literally can start with $200 or $25 or $50 and then do as much as you can, as often as you can. And that was what led to success for us. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. And I think that's a really good message for everybody because I think a lot of people talk about putting away $20 or $25, mm-hmm. but really they're making a, a ton more. So it's hard to give the advice to where they haven't actually been in that situation before. How do you invest and save when you only have $20 or $25 to save? So that's that, that's cool to hear something like that from you. Yeah. I mean, I know it's hard and I know there's always that temptation to say, I don't have enough to do that. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, look, you you can't afford not to do it, right? Yeah. Because everybody's going to retire at some point, God willing, and no one's going to give you a loan to do it. And I hate to say it, but the reality is a lot of people these days are being forced to retire because their health is making it difficult for them to keep working. So I feel like while you're young and healthy, even if it's a little painful in the moment, put the five, 10, 25 aside. And then as you make more money, then you can save and invest more money. And you have to be really disciplined in that part though, right? Mm -hmm. Because of course we get pay raises from time to time and we're tempted to spend more, but we actually need to think to ourselves, like, am I already making enough to cover my bills and can I actually save more instead? And that's where you get to see the real compounding. Um, But I would say, you know, seeing the money grow was my motivation. I know everyone's motivated by different things, but for me, it was seeing it grow and being able to see that like back in the day, I used to do 25 bucks a year or 75 bucks a year. Now I'm maxing it out. Now I'm seeing six figures in savings, six figures in investments. And I'm like, okay, but it took time. And I'm a very like uh, page, set it and forget it kind of person, like set it, stay to it, discipline, you know, what can I commit to doing? And yeah. then when can I raise it? And then when I see the fruits of the labor, then I'm like motivated to actually do even more, right? Yeah. Whereas um, you have to know what your triggers are. Some people may see it and want to spend it. So you have to figure out what, what works for you. Yeah, that's 